Hi dancers, here's how you can learn choreography on your own and become self-reliant. Pick what you want to focus on. Is it the musicality? Is it the dynamics, the levels, the textures, the performance quality, the way you execute movement? Are you challenging your endurance? Or is it for recreation, to have fun, to go with the flow, to be present in the moment and in case you're feeling low and you want to just pick yourself up? Once you've set your intention, make sure you know the music inside out. This is very crucial, so spend good time to study the music. If it's getting very confusing for you to coordinate your left and right with what's going on in the choreography, then try to flip the video in a video editing app once you download it or use the site mirrorthevideo.com. Break the video into parts or sections so you can break it according to the eight counts. Then comes the most important part which is to keep practicing and drilling it. So keep practicing, practicing, practicing till you know it in your body and blood and not just in your mind. Here's another thing, if you find that your energy is dropping towards the last section, then once you've already learned the complete choreography, try to drill backward. That is, first do the last section, then do the middle section, and then do the first section. Once you've cleaned it up this way, you can go back to drilling it from front to back. This will also help you balance your energy, know where to control and release energy, and also to stay consistent throughout your performance. Intentional breathing is key. For example, if we do a bigger movement, then breathe in. And if we are doing shorter, more crunch sort of movements, then breathe out. Some dancers prefer to choreograph their facials along with their dance, but some dancers like to just do it on the spot however it comes naturally to them. But if you're not confident with how it's going to turn out when you do it on the spot, then choreograph your facials along with your dance. The more you do this, the more comfortable you'll get with your face and the more you learn about what works best for you and you'll be able to do it on the spot with more confidence. Remember to add your own flair, sauce, vibe, flavor, whatever you like to call it. Use a mirror use a mirror. Don't take this for granted because the way we think we look while dancing is not always how we end up dancing. Once you've practiced using the mirror, practice without the mirror and then record yourself. Study yourself. See your strength. See your weakness. See what you can improve. Document and track your process. You have the power to show yourself how much you've progressed so use that to your advantage. Sleep has been shown to improve memory so make sure you sleep. Make sure you get at least one to two sleep cycles in before you perform the course. The best way to learn is to teach. So try to teach a friend or uh, another dancer or try to put up a tutorial online. You're always going to learn something new when you teach it and it always reinforces what you've learned. To reduce stress and improve focus, try meditating before and after your learning and practicing process. Our body should be able to support us in what we want to do, so try to cross train. Study your progress and be gracefully critical with yourself and also take feedback from people who are invested in your growth. Enjoy your dancing!